A beginner's journey to multiple spanning tree protocol in Microtik. As per our topology, we have three microtics, MT1, Dash 2, and Dash 3. In our topology, we will also configure four VLANs, VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 40. So in a classic spanning tree or even rapid spanning tree protocol, so there will be one instance for all of the VLANs and uh, we could not have achieved a load balancing because for example mt1 will become the root bridge so for mt3 let's say mt2 was a better priority or a lower mac address than mt3 so therefore let's say uh, mt3 will have ether2 as its blocking port or state so mt3 will only go to mt1 so we could not do some load balancing for VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 40, so for classic spanning tree or rapid spanning tree protocol. There is something what we call per VLAN spanning tree, wherein each VLAN has a spanning tree instance. So if you have four VLANs, you have four spanning tree instances. If you have 1,000 VLANs, you have 1,000 spanning tree instances and yes you could achieve some load balancing with that because you could let's say half of the VLANs 10 and 20 will go to here half of the VLANs will go to here 30 and 40 however the drawback for per VLAN spanning tree is you have as much instances as much as the VLAN so like I said if you have four you will have four instances of spanning tree if you have a thousand wherein you will have thousand instances of spanning tree protocol however per vlan spanning tree as it's a proprietary protocol or rapid per vlan spanning tree uh, is not available in microtik and also you don't need as much as spanning tree instances for example if there are a thousand vlans the other 500 is here on the left the other 500 is here on the right you don't really need a thousand instances for that matter because you as you might guess you only need two instances so i have the other half to mt1 i want the other half to mt2 so therefore we have the mst or multiple spanning tree protocol because we could group the vlan or we have vlan mappings to a certain instance so let's say 10 and 20 to first instance 30 and 40 to another instance or you could have like the first 500 for the first instance or the next 500 let's say 501 to vlan 1000 on the second instance so we are in mt1 so system identity so this is mt1 so let's go to bridge so let's create a bridge on bridge tab click plus sign Go to general and let's just name it as brmt1. Click OK. So you'll notice the default protocol is RSTP. So we will change it a bit later. So we go to ports. So MT1 is connected to MT2 via port number 2. So we will make it as a bridge port member. MT1 is connected to MT3 via port number 3. So we will also make it as a bridge port member. Next, let's add some VLANs. So VLANs tab, click the plus sign, VLAN ID 10. Let's add another one, 20. Let's add another 30 and 40. So the tag will be our bridge ports so ether 2 and ether 3 click apply click ok next we go to our bridge and we go to the bridge settings so double click go to stp so we will configure mstp later so right now is rstp I just go first to the VLAN so for now we will uncheck it first we will apply later STP so we would lower this as we want our MT1 to be like a distribution switch and it has priority than our 
MT3. So let's say for the sake of this demonstration, let's lower the priority to 1000. So from 8000 hex to 1000. So apply. Okay. So we are in our MT number 2. So to speed up this video, so already configured. So we have bridge PRMT2 ports. So we are connected from 2 to 1 is Ether 1 and from MT2 to MT3. So via Ether 3. So we have also added our VLANs 10, 20, 30, 40 and tag the ports Ether 1 and Ether 3. We also configured our bridge priority to 2000 and the VLAN filtering is unchecked for a moment. And finally on our MT3, so system identity, this is MT3. So we have bridge PR MT3. So the ports will be 1 and 2. So going to MT1 and going to MT2. VLANs are also configured as identical 10, 20, 30, 40 with our trunk ports Ether 1 and Ether 2. So the bridge is also changed to priority 3000 instead of 8000 and it still remains as RSTP. Alright, next. So multiple spanning tree protocol works in a concept called regions. So you might think of it as groups. So for each region, there will be a regional root bridge. So the concept of root bridge will still be there. So the MSTP will use what we call IST or internal spanning tree to build the network topology inside that particular region. Moreover, suppose we extend our topology to another group of switches and they will form let's say a second region or another region and this group of switches will be interconnected to our first group or our first region then cst or common spanning tree so will be required to build the network topology between multiple regions okay let's configure the regions, so what we are talking about, so it can be configured on the bridge. We are on MT1, so double click. So bridge tab, double click the bridge. Go to the STP tab and region name, region revision is faded out because we are running the default rapid spanning tree protocol. So we will select MSTP. So we will supply region, let's say in Querinity and region revision one so take a look uh, if we will click apply or click ok with this so let's see if it allows us click ok and it will have an error couldn't change interface brmt1 or the bridge interface the mstp requires vlan filtering so we have to set the vlan filtering in order to change it to the mstp protocol mode all right let's configure that so we go to vlan so check with this vlan filtering let's leave this as default stp so we go to mstp let's type in querinity and region revision is one click apply hopefully it will now allow us to apply our configuration and yes indeed so click ok we are now running or we are we have changed from RSTP to MSTP. So here in our MT2, so basically done the same. The protocol mode is MSTP. So the VLAN filtering is checked. The MSTP is selected. The region name is Inquirinity. Region revision is one. And finally, same with our MT3 bridge. So the VLAN filtering is on. The STP is MSTP, region name is Inquirinity, the region revision is 1. Now let's initially verify our MSTP configuration. So if you go to the bridge, go to the status, so you'll notice on MT3, 
this is not the root bridge so we have this mst config digest and we now have the concept of regional root bridge so our regional root bridge has this mac address and since we are not a root bridge so we have a root port so going or via ether one so meaning to say we could reach our root bridge via ether one and obviously that is going to mt1 so this regional root bridge is our mt1 which we could verify once we go there on our mt1 similarly here in our mt2 so if we go to the bridge and click status so this is also not a root bridge and mst config digest and yes it's still saying there's a regional root bridge and it's consistent on mt3 with this mac address and it says its root port is ether1 so it could reach the root bridge or the regional root bridge via ether1 and this is not a root bridge and finally in our mt1 so this is a familiar mac address from our mt2 mt3 status page and if we double click mt1 so this is the mac address so if we go to status yes this is the root bridge so this the, is the mac address consistent 0c9e9ca40001 i don't have a root port because i am a root bridge so mst config digest so if you verify to ports all of my ports are into designated so right now mt1 is the root bridge and if you can remember we have some vlans 10 20 30 40 so what if we want to group the vlans in such a way that for example vlan 10 and 20 we group them and 30 and 40 we group them so that we would want a different root bridge per this grouping so let's say for vlan 10 20 I would want MT1. For VLAN 30 and 40, I would want MT2. Okay, so for example, what if we want to achieve this? And obviously, uh, that's the reason why we are using multiple spanning tree for that intended purpose. So we could go to the multiple spanning tree instance tab. So let's configure MST instances. So MST eyes. So plus sign. So the bridge so for our identifier let's have one and for priority let's say i want this bridge to be the root bridge for vlan 10 as well as vlan 20 okay so i will lower the default priority to a thousand so apply and okay next for the other grouping of vlan 30 and 40 i don't want this mt1 to be the root bridge so i want the mt2 so if i click plus sign so identifier will be two i will just put the priority to 2000 okay so for vlan 30 and for vlan 40 okay so click okay now let's configure mt2 so on the left side is mt1 and the right side is mt2 so bridge msti's or instances so plus sign so the identifier for this is one priority will be 2000 for 10 and 20 so still for vlan 10 and 20 i want my bridge mt1 to be the root bridge so click ok for this okay so next will be plus sign so identifier 2 priority is 1000 vlan mapping is 30 and vlan mapping is 40 as well click apply click ok so now you'll notice that the root bridge id was changed okay so on mt2 and mt1 so on mt1 Okay, so on VLAN 10 and 20 mapping, he is still the root bridge. So that's what we want. But on VLAN 30 and 40, 
this is not a root bridge anymore and it says that the original root bridge is 0 C A5 something okay so on this MT2 so still our MT instance for 10 and 15 so it is not the root bridge but for VLAN 30 and 40 which we want this switch to be the root bridge it says now that I am the root bridge and just to quickly show for MT3 so we have configured identifier 1 for VLAN 10 and 20 mapping for MT3 we have configured identifier 2 for 30 and 40 mapping and for this VLAN mapping this bridge this switch is not the root bridge so if you take a look I am not or this switch is not a root bridge for VLAN 30 and 40 this is not a root bridge as well